bear witness to a young couple burying yet another infant child. Childbirth itself was hard, but the early moments of childcare, so critical to life, were often seen as an inconvenience to slave owners whose lives depended so much on the labor of others. The mistress of the house could not afford to have her slaves neglecting their duties, even slaves who had just given birth. I can't put my baby girl on the ground. Not another one. My sweet child. My baby. She will be so cold there, Ezra. She is but four days old and so tiny. I tell the missus, I beg her, please. I'm a doctor. She is too weak. She grasps for every breath. She's gonna die. Please help us. Mrs. uses her fancy words. She tell me ain't no doctor gonna come here and see a Negro child. She tell me that if it be God's will that the child die, thy will be done. We lost three babies since we've been at this house and all the missus say is, Clara, if you had more control over yourself, you wouldn't always be in that way. She give me no time to suckle my baby. No time to heal my body. All she care about making me do is hard work all day, sun up, sun down. How she call herself a Christian woman. The Lord love all his children, no matter what she might think. Baby girl was just born too soon. She's so small. She... She gave me no time to save her. No time to heal my body, just like the rest of them. I sat back in the house, working, 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 all the whilst our sweet child lay gasping with only old Violet to tend her. The missus ain't no Christian woman. She the spawn of the devil. Clara. Hateful, cruel, she know. Clara, you've got to keep a whisper in your mouth. Listen, you're going to make it worse for all of us. And God stands in judgment over everyone. I stand in judgment of her. I. Uh, stop your dawdling and get back in the house. Washing isn't going to do itself. Look, you stay here. I'll go and talk with the missus and see if she can give us a few minutes to bury our child. Your baby girl is already in the arms of Jesus. I've seen her there. Her sweet soul will bloom for all eternity in the garden of heaven. You must let her body go into the earth. She is fine now. Someday, white people and people of color will be seen as equal in the eyes of the law, just as they have always been seen in the eyes of the Lord. There will come a time when the sins of slavery will tear this nation apart, and the healing will take many years. You must have faith, and it will happen. Your people will one day be slaves no more. The missus say she give us... Where, where'd you get that flower, Clara? It was an angel, Ezra. An angel came to me. She said our baby girl is in the arms of Jesus and to have hope that one day our people will be slaves no more. She tell me our baby girl will bloom forever in the garden of heaven. We will name her Hope. 